Hey everyone, this is Scott Wyden Kivowitz from Scott Wyden Imagery and I want to walk you through something real quick. Uh, last week on my blog I posted every day uh, a photo that I processed in Anwan Software Perfect Suite 7. Now, um, I've been a beta tester of Perfect Suite 7 and I'm happy to share all these great uh, you know, new tools with you. Um, and today I'm actually going to walk you through a couple uh, things that I really enjoy in Perfect Suite 7. So the first thing you'll notice, uh, I'm gonna, I'm in Lightroom, I'm gonna right click and go edit in Photo Suite 7. Now I've already did done this, so it's already open, but I'm gonna show you what I've done. It, I, it opened in layers, and the first thing I did was I clicked to effects. Now as you can see, I did add a few effects, Now I'll show you what I did for each one so that you get an idea of what the effect did and, uh, and how I achieved it. So this is the original photo. So the first thing I did was I actually used what uh, is a new effect called Orton Hears a Who. And it's a really cool effect that adds a really dramatic look. Um, sort of, It's a dramatic glow and enhances colors, darkens shadows. It's pretty, it's pretty um, uh, sort of Tim Burton-esque, if you will. So what I did was I added the effect then I inverted it using the button up here. And then after I inverted it, I brushed in all uh, of the little, um, all the weeds coming through here. So yes, I brushed them all in, but what's more important is I brushed them in using the new perfect brush tool. And what that did was enable me to get the grass and not um, all the surrounding um, cement. So I'm going to enable this layer so you can see what it looks like. And this is it with the uh, Orton Here's a Who effect with the brush just on the little weeds, a little bit on the reflection here, on the trees back here. So let me, uh, I'm going to deselect, uh, sort of hide the preview and show it again. So here it is before, here it is after. As you can see, it brought out the greens a little bit, made it a little bit um, dramatic, if you will, and it's, it's a really nice effect. Next thing I did was I added local contrast boost. So if you search for, so if you search for local up here, which is a really neat new feature, by the way, you can now search for your effect and just favorite it if you want to add it to your favorites tab. So here's local contrast boost, really good for bringing out a little bit of detail. So what I did was I enabled that, I added that effect, brought it down a little bit, and it's just enough to bring out some texture. And I added it only to what's down here in the photo cause I actually used a masking brush up here uh, I mean sorry the masking bug up here to remove the effect from the from the top portion of the frame the next thing I did was I added Hollywood intensity so again Hollywood uh, can do a quick search and it'll bring it up here so here's Hollywood glow and here's Hollywood intensity both are really cool effects so I added them to my favorite so when I enabled that just like I did for the bottom part of the frame I actually only added it to the top, so I used the masking bug and removed it for all the bottom half of the frame. Now, um, this photo is not the most amazing photo in the world, but it goes to show you how flexible the tool is. Now again, I'm going to show you hide and show from the preview. So here's the original, and here it is a little more dramatic, a little dreary. So now I'm going to take us a step further, and I'm going to just I don't even I don't even need to hit reply. I'm going to uh, apply. I'm going to hit focus. So now I'm going to be bringing this new um, effect, this new uh, photo that I've processed from Perfect Suite, uh, from Perfect Effects in Perfect Photo Suite Seven into Focal Point. So now as the picture is loading into Focal Point, I'm going to add a little bit of focus so that your eyes are brought to the part of the photo that I want you to focus on. All right, so this is actually done using brushes and masking bugs, just like in all the other um, parts of the Perfect Photo Suite. So you can see here, there's already a masking bug here, actually what they call the focus bug, and it's very strong. And wherever I move it, you're getting the effect. Now, I don't want to use round. I actually want to use a rectangular focus. So I'm going to change the shape here to planar. And what it's going to do now is do a more rectangular fo focal point. And now I can actually angle that and change it how I need it to be. And you can see here, now my focus is dead center 
to the uh, horizontally and a little bit below the uh, um, the vertical um, point. So it's sort of near the bottom of the frame. And then I'm going to um, actually reduce the amount of blur on the background so it's not so dramatic, but it brings your eyes closer to what um, I'm trying to get. So again, I'm gonna take away the preview and you can see a little bit of, of lens blur. You could probably go a little bit further safely before and after, and again, um, Maybe just a little bit wider. Change the vignette and before and after. So you can see that's pretty neat. It does what I need it to. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. So let's uh, hit apply. And now we're going to be brought back to uh, perfect layers in the Photo Suite 7. Um, and what that's going to do is going to let me now see each of the uh, steps that I've taken so far in my processing. So you can see, um, let's uncheck these. Let's go back to the beginning. So here's my original shot. This is right out of Lightroom into Perfect Photo Suite 7. Then I brought it into Perfect Effects, did some of the effects that I wanted using uh, three different effects and some masking. And then I brought it into Focal Point and added um, you know, some focus right where I wanted your eye to go. And now I can bring it, just hit save, and it's going to be bringing it right back into uh, Lightroom as a PSD file, which means I can open it up back in, uh, in Lightroom, I can open it up in Photo Suite 7, or I can open it up in Adobe Photoshop. And once I'm back into Lightroom, so that's saved, I can close that, and let's go back into Lightroom. And now you'll actually have them, um, the two photos will um, be stacked to each other. So you got the original and you've got, um, you know, the new effect. And then I can now take it and I can go further with my processing. If I want to go further, I can add some more vignetting. I can uh, adjust the white balance, etc. Because it doesn't lose any of the metadata. It doesn't change anything. It's just, um, you know, you've got full control still. Um, so the possibilities are endless with the uh, Photo Suite 7. I'm going to show you some more videos hopefully uh, this week, and thanks for watching.